Amazing, <laughs> awesome stuff. Um, yeah. it, it's amazing what the mind can do. And um, I, I hear stories about it and sometimes I'm like mind blown, like in, in this case, like, whoa, really? Uh, yeah. So yeah, we definitely should work more on, on ourselves and uh, opening up all the chakra points and, and uh, actually using our potential a lot more. I feel that a lot of people are not using their potential not even like 50%, you know? Um, so I, I definitely feel that we could go a lot further and achieve a lot more in life. Uh, and that's kind of why I dedicated this podcast to, you know, personal development and um, working on yourself and, you know, like learning. Um, can you tell the listeners maybe some of the tips that you would recommend what people could learn, um, where they should look, uh, what should they read, and what are some of the things that they could do to Take, take their uh, personal development to the next level. Yes, of course. And one thing you mentioned about, you know, potential. So the first tip would be giving yourself permission to identify what your full potential is. Because I feel like a lot of times we don't give ourselves permission to think outside of the box or to really dream or to use our imagination And that's the one thing um, I ask my clients is like, what is your dream life? What do you want? And a lot of people have no idea, yeah. you know, and, and that really, you know, it, it breaks my heart, honestly, mm -hmm. because I was the same way. I mm -hmm. was the exact same way. So allowing ourselves to, yeah, to give ourselves this space to really know what we want Mm -hmm. and what our dream life is to dream to use our imagination as if we were like little kids again yeah yeah uh brooke do you feel that it's also connected to fear that people are afraid to to dream up a, a dream um how do you look at it <laughs> yes yes i think it's fear i also think sometimes we can be um addicted to survival emotions And that like just tribalism, means, like society and that, or so just addicted to like, we can be addicted to fear or to anxiety or to depression. Mm -hmm. And that just means that this is just a, an emotional state. And, you know, essentially our feelings come from our thoughts. So it's a subconscious state that we can just be looping around in. So yes, it can be that I, a lot of people can think I need these motion to, emotions to survive, but they don't know that. Does that make sense? So it's very subconscious. And so until we start looking at our lives from a broader picture of like, what has impacted me to feel this fear? What in my life in the past, where, like, where did I find fear? Like, where is this coming up? So it's really being curious about that. But yes, I totally agree that fear can be a big part of it. Anxiety can be a big part of it. Or there was somebody in, in, you know, in their past that said, you know, you have to be this, or you have to do this, or, you know, or society says that you have to be this way, or you have to do it this way, or you're wrong, or you're not going to get the things that you desire. But like I said, essentially, if we, if we take all of that away, and we take off all of these hats that we kind of wear, it's like, what are we left with? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. That, I'm sure that will unlock uh, some potential for people listening. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.